Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Max. I will be your server today. Just let me know if you need anything. We do have some holiday specials. We have a pine penne, a birch burger, and willow wings. Those sound good. Why don't we take one of each? Awesome. Uh, just out of curiosity, what holiday is it today? It is Arbor Day. And I will be back with some waters. Arbor Day? What's Arbor Day? Is it a mispronunciation of harbor? Like with a silent H, like an herb. Oh, so it celebrates the Boston Harbor, like the tea party, you know? Uh, yeah. No, isn't it Arbor, like that Arbor Mist stuff? Oh, I love Arbor Mist, but it would take a lot for a wine company to get a, you know, a national holiday. Some serious lobbying there. No, wait. Isn't it a celebration of John Arbor? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I definitely remember learning about that in like fourth grade history. Yeah. John Arbor. John Arbor was a forest explorer who, if my memory serves me right, discovered, named, and cataloged over 125 different types of trees during his search for the Northwest Passage. No, that's not right. Fourth grade was state history, so wasn't he the guy who blazed the Appalachian Trail with his faithful manservant J. Sterling Morton? And when he got to the bottom, he looped back up and he won the French and Indian War. And after all that, he was tired, so he settled down to found New Hampshire, the state he named in memory of his recently deceased beloved Shih Tzu, Hampshire. Um, and let me know if you need anything. So he founded New Hampshire? I don't think he founded a state. That's ridiculous. He founded a country. The nation of Arborea. Arborea, a land of wondrous rolling mountains, true and glorious freedom, and record levels of voter participation. He ruled over his land with his Queen Mary. Tragically, Mary betrayed John and ran off J. Sterling Morton. The civil war that ensued was so unspeakably horrible that it literally leveled Arborea's mountains, leaving the land we now know as Nebraska. But still, Arbor's example shines out as a beacon of hope for all those who aspire to a better world. That's why Arbor Day is dedicated to all the hopeless romantics. Dedicated to hopeless romantics? Where did you go to elementary school? John Arbor wrestled bears and killed the Sasquatch on his woodland adventures. But then, why are there still Sasquatch sightings? You don't think the Sasquatch had children? Please. John Arbor was the co-founder of the Air Guitar. Plus, he never mentioned that his wife, Mary, was blind. And she overcame her blindness to lead a revolution in women's fashion. She wasn't blind. She was deaf. And she was his sister. And a very popular jazz musician, despite it all. Remember her hit single? Don't just stand there, move it! No, no, no! But she might have been his daughter. Anyway, John Arbor was also very famous for never losing at rock, paper, scissors. Never. Wrong! Arbor invented cookies and the moose. Plus, he could teleport. He was a world-class candle maker and glass blower. He created working science fiction weapons. He framed Cain for Abel's murder! Hey everybody, how's it going? How's the meal? Can I get any one of your refills or anything? Um, uh, no, everything's fine. Thanks. Awesome. He was the Lord of the Dance. He was the Lord of the Flies. He was the Lord of the Rings. He can only escape board. He convinced the devil to sell his soul. He swam the English Channel. He drank the English Channel. And pissed Noah's flood. He was how the West was won. He was the reason the Big Bang. Arbor Day is awesome. Don't just stand there, move it! Don't just stand there, move it! Don't just stand there, move it! Don't just stand there, move it!
Just stand there, move it. Don't just stand there, move it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great night. Don't forget to plant a tree. Plant a tree. <laughs>